Hey, what's up everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you the basics of the Temporis boss. Now, this video is not an efficient video on how to get the most points or how to quickly do the boss. It's showing you how to get to the boss. It's showing you how to complete the minigame itself. It's showing you how to get points and it's showing you how to get your reward. Uh, so it's a very introductionary uh, video for those people who are trying to learn how to do Temporis. Now, the items you will need for the minigame are a bucket of water, a hammer, a rope, a small fishing net for your reward at the end, and a harpoon or dragon harpoon. I highly recommend the dragon harpoon as you can equip it and save a spot. And I also recommend bringing angler outfit if you have it because you get more XP, and then some weight reducing items such as the graceful cape and gloves, and then Rattus Blessing so you get a little bit more fish. But again, none of these are actually required, they're just recommended to help with the minigame itself. They're really only, it's not really required, but kind of required would be the rope and then obviously a harpoon because um, you need the fish. All right, so to get to the start of the minigame, make your way to al uh, and come to my location in the southwest. And here we're going to take a boat to the ruins of Unkar. And so take that ferry boat. And we're not in the minigame just yet. We're actually in the city just outside the minigame start in the ruins of Unka. And we make our way to the west, and we're going to board the Sea Spear dock, uh, where we'll start the minigame. So come here, and then climb the rope uh, to get in the boat, where the minigame uh, will begin. Now we can see how long before the minigame starts. Uh, this person's going to give us a time uh, where it will start automatically, or if we get enough people, like in pest control, it'll, it'll also start automatically. Alright, when the screen goes black, that means we're going over to the beginning of the minigame. Um, and here, I'm going to show you where to pick up some items. Here is the bucket, and then you can pick up the bucket and then fill it at the water pump. Uh, you can get some rope, you can get the hammer, and you can get the harpoon for fishing. Alright, so go ahead and get those items if you want. Definitely get a harpoon and a rope, and then get off the boat and start harpooning at the fishing spots. The fishing spot you pick actually does matter. Right now it doesn't because they're both the same. Um, but in a few seconds, uh, a fishing spot's going to spawn and you're going to want to prioritize that fishing spot because you catch double the amount of fish there. And the more fish, the more points. Um, obviously the more points, the more rewards. So no, none of the fishing spots have really changed yet. Okay, over here to the east, you see that fish jumping? This is the fishing spot you want to prioritize. Because when you're fishing here, you're going to catch twice as much harpoon fish. Um, and then if you look in the chat, chat box, see, I, I managed to catch an extra harpoon fish because it jumped out. And points definitely matter. So if you look at the inventory screen, I have the points broken down. You get 20 points for shooting an uncooked fish at the boss. And okay, so the screen is going blue. Um, what you want to do is tether to these poles. If you don't tether, like I just did there, not only did I lose some fish, but I lost my rope. And you need rope to tether to the pole. So try and tether to the pole when you can. Um, and the, that only happens when the screen goes blue. All right, point-wise, as you can see, 65 points for cooking, for shooting a cooked fish at the boss. That's where you really want to prioritize shooting cooked fish at the boss. That's why you cook. Um, and then when the boss's energy gets 0% and you can actually physically attack the boss, you're going to get 55 points for each time you attack that boss. And then as the storm hit, you can see the fire is here. I'm going to get 20 points for dousing this fire. Though honestly, I really don't recommend getting out, going out of your way to, um, to douse the fires. Now I'm actually in a really interesting situation because I don't have rope on me. And if that wave comes again, I'm going to lose a lot of items in my inventory. But I'm going to risk it for this video because I want to show you what's going on. Over here, you want to cook at the shrine. And because I don't have rope, I can't tether, but let's say I do. So you want to go over here and tether. Um, but I missed out because I didn't, didn't click in time, and I also didn't have my rope. I lost a hammer, and I lost all those fish I just cooked. Great. Um, let me explain what's going on with the energy, essence, and storm intensity. Energy is the boss's current stat. When it hits 0%, it becomes vulnerable. Essence is the boss's health. You want it to get zero. It usually takes two energy cycles to get to zero when you're with a group of people. 
And storm intensity is how much the storm is happening, how many waves are happening, how many clouds are happening, how many fires are starting. You get 100% storms, you're going to automatically lose. You don't want that. All right, so when you get all your harpoon fish cooked, make your way back on the boat, and then start loading it into the ammunition crate. And then every time you shoot a cooked uh, swordfish, you're going to get 65 points. So very important. Um, when the energy hits about 2%, you're going to want to make your way to the dock. And because when it hits 0%, the boss becomes vulnerable. You want to have time to get there. Uh, so now the boss is vulnerable. And start harpooning the spirit pool. And as you can see, every time I harpoon the spirit pool, I get 55 points. So you really want to prioritize harpooning and um, cooking the fish. But your most points are going to come from this harpooning the spirit pool. And if you get 2,000 or more points, you'll get rewarded uh, with one reward. And I don't know the scale of how it goes up, but if you get about 5,000 points, you get five rewards. Every 1,000 points or so, you get an extra reward. So you definitely want to keep getting the points. But if you get under 2,000 points, you don't get a reward. And when the energy hits 100%, the boss is no longer vulnerable. So again, like I said, two cycles to hit 0% uh, on the boss. And to lower that energy, you just want to shoot the harpoon fish at the boss. So it's kind of like Winter Tot, if you're familiar with that minigame. Um, but yeah, you catch fish, cook fish, shoot fish, boss is vulnerable, attack boss. And uh, hopefully it happens again where the um, where the storm comes and I can show you the tether because uh, I haven't really had a chance to show that to you. All right, so here, here's the storm. I know it's going blue. I might not even make it. Uh, attach it to the mast. Just click the mast with a rope and you're not going to lose any of your items you have. Now you can see here there's a little cross that was on the um, pole. That means you can repair it. That means it's broken. And the, the top north pole is uh, the totem over to the north. Uh, this, this south one is this totem on the south over here. And then these ones on the left and right, east and west, are the masts on the boats. And if there's a, a, a line through it, that means it's broken. And if you have a hammer, you can repair it, or you're going to get uh, 10 points for fixing the pole. And then uh, you're also going to get about like, 340 construction XP. Um, so it's very useful. Again, you can get 20 points for dousing a fire, but it's really not worth going out of your way to douse fires. Uh, but don't walk in a fire. So watch. I'm going to walk in a fire. It's the same as a wave. You're going to lose. Uh, you're going to lose uh, the fish and maybe an item in your inventory. So you know, um, try and avoid the fires the best you can. Uh, here's the tether when the blue storm comes again. As long as you're tethered, you're fine. It broke. I lost my hammer, but if I had my hammer, I could repair it, and I'd get 340 XP um, to do it. But I see the energy's at zero, so I think I'm okay. I'm just going to go ahead and finish off the boss. And then, uh, because I have over 2,000 points, I'll get rewarded, and I'm going to show you where to get the reward, as well as like, a small fishing net if you don't have one. All right, so I didn't get a lot of points, but I did get one reward point towards my total uh, and then to leave just go to the north and uh, leave if it doesn't say leave if it says forfeit that means the mini game's not over and you're not going to get any, anything any reward so make sure it says leave before you leave and then come to the south here and I have one reward point and you can actually stack up reward points you could you could play this mini game and get a hundred uh, reward points and just do a hundred uh, rewards at once so kind of like a opening a bunch of chests at once now I'm gonna drop my fishing net, and if I don't have a fishing net, you know I can I need a net the re reward pool. Uh, but if you don't have it, just speak to Spirit Angler to our south of the re reward pool, and he's gonna give you a net. Um, and then when you have a net, just net reward pool, and you know you'll get a reward. You usually don't get a lot of good stuff, but in this case I got 26 raw lobsters. And that's really just the basics of the Temporis boss. I know this video is not really too detailed on what to do on the boss. Uh, I just wanted to give people an idea of what they need to do to get to the minigame, uh, what they have to do in the minigame itself. 
um, and how to collect the rewards and how to actually get the rewards as well as how to get points and the, the best points that I found so far. Um, but there's there's obviously more fishing methods out there that I did not mention in this video. Um, so that's not the point of this video. This point is just the point of this video is just to help you get started on uh, getting the boss done. Um, anyways, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I have a Discord. Please feel free to join the Discord and say hello. And I hope to see everyone in a future video.